A core concept, a core philosophy in the seven stage method is that the personality of a business will mirror the personality of its owner. So if you have an organized owner, you have an organized business. If you have a schizophrenic owner, you have a schizophrenic business. And we have found that over and over that the correlation of the business owner's strengths become the strengths of the business and the business owner's weaknesses or blind spots as we call them become the weaknesses or the blind spots of the business. So uh, a couple of examples uh, that I think uh, you all can relate to is we recently worked with a client that had a service business. It was a very small business, had five employees, and um, uh, the woman who owned the business had been doing it for years, and she knew all of her clients very well, and they knew her, and, and, but in the end, what we found is that the business was really a glorified job. You know, if she stopped, the business stopped. If she didn't show up, the customers were asking, well, where's, where is she? Well, she came to us and she said, well, I'd like to move. I'd like to sell my business and move because she had recently been married and her husband was relocated to another state. So talk about a long distance relationship. She's married and her husband lived in another state. So she came to us and said, I want to obviously move and live with my husband, but I need to sell the business. And we identified the fact that she's in a job. And in our way of our, our language, that's a stage two business. She was a specialist. If she stops, the business stops. And she didn't have any systems or team or processes around that. So we took her through what we call our discovery process. We found out where is she now, where does she want to go, and how, how are we going to get her there. And one of the things we identified was she needed to build a team around her, and she needed to have processes and um, operational efficiencies so, and systems. So when she wasn't there, the business still worked. Well, we were successful in a very short period of time to help her build the team, define all the roles, and she had some employees, but as we found out, they weren't all in the right roles and, and certain people needed to be trained in certain ways. So we worked on that with her. We got everyone in the right roles, and then we got all of the information out of her head and down on paper. So I remember the day she came to our office, and we said, okay, let's get started. Who's customer number one? And she gave us the name, and we had a file there, and we made a customer profile sheet, and how often do you visit them, and what do you do, and what do they get charged? And you can see she was just, her eyes glazed over, and she's like, oh, this is painful, you know? And we said, if you want to move and live with your husband and sell your, you could close the business today and not get a penny for it, or we can go through this process and let's see what it's worth for you. And so we did. It was painful for her and uh, sometimes for us, and, uh, but we got, we systematized the whole business. And it took about four to six weeks. All the while, we knew that if she followed along the process, she'd be ready to sell within a couple months. And so we put the business up for sale, and we found a suitable buyer, and so we really picked up the pace on making sure everything was systematized. We tested everything out. We found a buyer for her, and within 14 weeks, she was able to put her house on the market, she sold her business, and was able to move. So she was a very, she was a small business, everything was in her head, no systems, we systematized, and, and that systemization and building the team became her intellectual property. Not just a customer list, but intellectual property that had a real value. And so in this day and age, in this economy, she was able to sell her business at a premium, not a discount. Meaning there's certain formulas that you figure out how you sell your business and what it's worth and there's an average. And if you're well systematized and you have a good operations, you can sell for more than the average. That's a premium. But if you don't have good systems and you don't have good structure, you sell at a discount, which is less than average. She sold almost double premium, double the average rate which was a huge success for us. Very small business, but we converted it from a job to a business and she was able to sell right away.